It's a crisis point. That's how one URMC doctor described the emergency room situation with a shortage of bed space and lack of staff. In response, URMC is launching a program to help guide patients with what they have and where they need to go. Alex Love joins us in the newsroom to explain how it works. Alex. Well, Teresa, the platform is already up, and it's called Get Care Now. In this branch of URMC's website, anyone concerned with their health can navigate what conditions they have and where the best place is to go for help. One page has a symptom guide where you can see if, if, if what you're dealing with requires you to go to the emergency room or, or an urgent care or primary care provider instead. They can offer you the same help there where wait times are likely to be less. There's also a chat group. There are, there's also chat group portals and phone numbers listed. You can call to get more guidance and to treat uh, emotional or mental problems you're experiencing. This way, those only experiencing serious or life-threatening injuries are directed to the emergency room, easing the burden of wait times on staff and and patients. You can also check ahead on the average wait times a facility is experiencing. To help people make decisions looking at that, oh, okay, if I drive a little bit farther, go some results, maybe I can be seen uh, more quickly. Uh, as patients have been seeking care, uh, especially in the current state with RSV and other things ongoing, as well as the staffing issues, all of the sites at times can get quite busy. But trying to provide as much information as possible to our patients so that they can help uh, with us in making informed decisions about their care. And we have links to this new area of URMC's webpage over at our website, rochesterfirst.com. As for long-term solutions to boarding and bed space over, being over capacity, Dr. Kamali believes the federal government should take more of a notice and get involved. We'll dive more into that coming up in our 11 o'clock newscast. Teresa. All right, Alex, thank you. Doctors also use the opportunity to advise once again in order to avoid serious symptoms from any respiratory virus. Make sure you're up to date on all your vaccines, including the flu shot this winter.